today. We are out here in Disney Springs with the family. Didn't have any reservations. Excited to try something we've never had before. I know. Yes, we are over here at Pepe by Jose Andres, which is a um Paleo, which is an absolutely amazing restaurant. If you've never been there, absolutely check it out. Some of the most innovative food that you can find here in Disney Springs. We've never been to the quick service. We don't, like I said, we have no reservations. We wanted to try something that we can just sort of grab and go. Just quick, you know? This seemed like it would match exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. I've heard the sandwiches are amazing, really, really good, and I'm really excited to try out the sangria. Yeah, sounds awesome. I'm really excited to try something new. Yeah. And uh, here we go. Yeah, let's go check it. So when you come into Pepe, you're gonna just walk right up to the, or the counter and place your order. It's very simple. You place your order, they give you one of the trusty little light vibrator dealios, and then you can come and sit inside. They also have great seating outside. So it's perfect. Very, very simple, very, very easy. It's easy to miss it though when you're walking by because it kind of blends into the whole Haleo building, but it is its own whole entity over here. So I went ahead and got a glass of the red sangria, which looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm really excited to try this sangria because it would be really nice to know that there's a solid sangria that you can just grab and go here in Disney Springs. Oh yeah. So what I love about a good sangria, a really good sangria, is that it's gonna have a good spice to it, not just sweetness, which is often the case. It's kind of like the bottled ones that you pick up, you know, at the store, they're often just sweet. It should have that mold sort of flavor going on. This absolutely does. This is a winner. I'm so excited for when Gavin comes back to town because he loves San Gideon and he's gonna go nuts for this one. It's very good, you gotta try it. I will. All right. You're, you're gonna want oh, one. I, I, I might want one of you. I just went with Pellegrino because they have beer here, which I like and I love High Life, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like a beer today. So, um, so here we go. We'll try it out. Fresh looking. Yes, that is a very nice sangria. I agree with you about the spice. You get that nice little spice finish. Yeah. Oh, really good. It's really nice too. Like I'm even still in my exhale. I'm getting a little of that yeah. spice and it's really It's wonderful. got a good, a good, really good aftertaste. Very Sounds good. kind of weird, but it does. Oh, it really does. It, it sits with you and it's beautiful. Yeah. Really like that. Yeah, let me get one Manny did go ahead and get a sangria. That's how good it is. But look at your sandwich. So note, the food here is enormous. Wow. Ooh, those grilled onions. Oh my gosh. Manchango cheese, is that right? Yep, that was very, Ooh. very good. We went ahead and got the, I, I want to call them papitas, but they're uh, patatas. These look really, really good. We'll get the description going for you guys. And then I have, I actually went a whole different route and got their tuna sandwich. I haven't had a good tuna salad sandwich. Well, okay, so you're seeing just the lettuce on that side. Hold on, let me see. Tuna, yellow tomato, you see those in there? Gorgeous. It's really good looking. Such a nice crisp. It does. It, it feels like a ciabatta in style, but it's got a nice toast to it. At least mine does. I don't know about yours. Wow, that is really good. That cheese blended with the ribeye steak is very, very good. Gosh, such a creamy, smooth flavor. So this sandwich really awesome. It's like a great version of a Philly cheesesteak. We got really, really good meat, really good cheese, grilled onions, uh, peppers, and mayonnaise in a, it's, it's a certain type of bread. It reminds me of ciabatta bread. It's like, it's almost exactly like ciabatta bread. Yeah, the but consistency very good. of it is really nice. It's very savory. The, all the flavors blend really nicely. Meat is, is a ribeye cut, it's a ribeye steak. So I love ribeye because you get that, kind of that additional flavor from that 
ribeye style meat. Um, excellent, excellent. Really tasty. It looks hearty and filling. Oh yeah, for sure. Like for, you know, a grab and go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Really good. I've had a really good tuna sandwich. That's, that's what you're looking forward to, right? I love a good tuna. Yeah. But now when I say a good tuna sandwich, I mean nailing that ratio of mayo to tuna, a really good tuna, not just like a nasty tuna, you know, canned or whatever. Um, the brightness of the vegetables along with the crispness of the bread, the toasted bread, and then the tuna salad itself is cold, fresh, and delicious. This is I won't be craving this one, I have to say, because I love, and I don't I don't know why I never make them. I just never do. But I love a really good tuna fish sandwich. That sounds so basic, right? But this is nothing but basic. This is elevated, amazing, and those yellow tomatoes are like a, um, in, an incredible addition because they just burst in your mouth and they just totally change the whole flavor profile inside. So you're getting that whole different like story being told the whole time that you're eating it. Really good. I love the crispness of the bread. The tuna's fantastic. The proportions are right. This is a winner for me and I will definitely be back to this again. Up. We have these papatas, and can we, um, or patatas? Fried potatoes with aioli and sauce. I didn't catch what kind of sauce. I see the aioli. Brava sauce. I don't know what the brava sauce is. Okay, these are excellent. Oh, wow. These are really, really good. So, knowing nothing about a brava sauce prior to this, this is a sweet, smoky, rich tomato sauce, and then coupled with a really nice aioli, but the potatoes themselves are this perfect crisp fry. It's not too hard, not too soft, just what you're looking for. They're, they're a little firm, which is really good. Oh, I think it's so really good. good. You do get a fire flavor, like you can taste the fire. Yeah. But this portion, by the way, is enormous for the price. This is a little side dish, and the portion itself is really, really big. I mean, there's a lot of potatoes in here. There's a lot of potatoes. So this is a perfect side dish to go. I'm loving this. Yeah. This is such a different variety of something to get when you're in Disney Springs or on your vacation. I mean, when do you get to eat food by Jose Andres, you know? D Disney Springs nails it when it comes to bringing in high level, high talent, really excellent chefs, in, and then having them do food that's accessible. So you've got um, Morimoto Asia. They also have a to-go window, which we're definitely gonna check out. Here you've got Jose Andres bringing in wonderful foods and grabbable, like truly accessible sandwiches, grab and go food that you're looking for that has like a really good elevated flavor to it. Um, Wine Bar George has, I mean, that's not necessarily a famous chef, but to us, George is always famous. Uh, but Wine Bar George has a to-go window. We've got Eat Now over there by Manit Chohan. Incredible food. Check out our video on that, because oh my God, I loved everything I had over there. Um, you've got Wolfgang Puck. Um, and then you've got Chef Art Smith. I mean, this place is just killing it with people that are at the top of their game, bringing the best flavors, telling their story with their flavors in accessible grab-and-go ways that I think make it a really exciting place as a foodie to get to come and enjoy the flavors of these people. I mean, I, look, we're from Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're not getting any of that out where we live, you know what I mean? So it's really cool when you're on vacation to come here and have access to all these wonderful things that normally got to go to Vegas or someplace like that New York City to get to try. Okay, so we just had our very first experience over here at Pepe. We will be back. Oh, it was awesome. Really, really good. I'm stuffed. I am so full. Yeah. My sandwich. Little, yeah, we had to get to go. To go box. And we didn't even get that much. And we no. can eat. I mean, I don't think there's any question about whether or not we can eat some food. Yeah. But it was fantastic. Very fresh. You know, I got to say, I was a little concerned when we went in because 
earlier when we walked by, it didn't look busy or anything. Yeah, it looked busy. I remember thinking, oh, I'm a little concerned about, like, is the food going to be fresh? You know, is everything going to be really sort of like made to order the way I'm hoping it'll be? And man, it was beyond what I hoped. Yeah, it hit it out of the park. It was out very, very good. Park. That sandwich, I mean, you know, you can take anything and make it into magic if you get the right chef behind it or the right person putting it together and doing it. Yep. And in this case, they took that tuna fish sandwich and took it to a whole nother level. Really good. The little um, patatas were fantastic. Great smoky flavor in there. But the hit of the night, I mean, okay, the food was the hit of the night, but for real, I will be stopping in. This is a full size. I mean, I have, you see, I haven't even drank that much of it. Nine dollars, guys. That's a great price. And it's a really good sangria. It's a fantastic sangria. So, if you're looking for a great drink at a great price while you walk around Disney Springs, this is great summer or winter sangria. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. You got to come on over here to Pepe. Yep. Plus, you know, if you ever look into Jose Andres, he does some amazing stuff. Amazing with work. community development, helping yes. all across the world. All over world the world. Class chef, all around. Yes. First class person. Thrilled to do anything. Really throw our dollars into supporting the work that he does and him and his business. Yep. You know, you got to stand up for that stuff. So, fantastic. If you are ever here and you're looking for something that you can have that's not going to, you don't have reservations at one of the big restaurants, or you have kids, or you're just here for a few hours and you don't want to consume a couple hours of your day into dining, but you still want really great quality, good food that's going to still be memorable to your vacation, you got to come over to Pepe. Yep. It's a fantastic option. Yes. Thanks so much really for watching. Really great. Really great. Yep. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.